Let's now turn to the page that lists all of the shirts. We're going to use variables again to store the various attributes of each shirt. If you think about it, we're going to need a lot of variables to hold this information. One for the name of the first shirt, one for its price, one for every single size in which it's available, small, medium, large, extra large, one for the path to the featured image, one for the name of the second shirt, and so on. All these variables would quickly become too difficult to manage in our code. To address this, we're going to use an array. Simply put, an array is a variable that contains other variables. Each variable inside an array is known as an array element. Each element has an index that can be used to reference it in our code. I like to think of a simple array as a single column spreadsheet. There's a column filled with values, each row representing one element. Each element has this identifier that can be used as a reference. Let me show you how to create an array of ice cream flavors in PHP. We'll start with a variable called flavors. We'll assign it a value that's an array instead of a simple piece of text. In this array function, we can provide a list of flavors. Each flavor goes in quotation marks, just like we did with text values for simple variables before, but we separate each value with a comma. Let's use a new command, the var dump command, to see what this variable looks like. Let's also use pre-HTML tags so that we can see all the line breaks in the browser. You can see here that the flavors variable is an array and that it has three elements. When we create a variable this way, PHP will automatically assign an index to each element. You'll notice the first element has an index of zero instead of one. That's a common thing you'll find in computer programming. I've even seen computer programming textbooks that start with chapter zero. To access the values in one of these elements, we add square brackets after the variable name for the array. Let's display the first element of the array here. Let's go ahead and display all three elements like this. This is pretty neat, but it's not too much different than having three variables named flavor0, flavor1, and flavor2. Let's now take a look at a couple of things we can do because we have the information structured as an array. First, PHP can easily retrieve the number of elements in an array using the count function. Let's replace the list here and echo out the number of flavors. Let's put some text before and after that number using concatenation. Second, PHP can easily execute a block of code using all the elements, one after the other, no matter how many there are. Let's do something like this to list all of the flavors here. The PHP command is for each. You first specify which array you want to loop through. As PHP goes through all the elements of the array one at a time here, it will load the current element into another working variable. You type as after the array name and then specify that working variable next. Something like flavor. You surround the block of code you want executed for each element in curly brackets just like you would a conditional. Let's just display the value of each element here. This command tells PHP to loop through the flavors array, loading one flavor at a time into the flavor variable and echoing out the value in that working variable before moving on to the next one. Let's add a hard return to the end of each item using concatenation and the escape character we learned previously.
With this in place, we can easily add to our array without updating any of our other code. Let's add a fourth flavor, my personal favorite. If we go back to view the page in the browser, we can see that the number of flavors got updated automatically and the new flavor got added to the list, all by just modifying our array. That covers the basics of simple arrays in PHP. I think you're ready for a code challenge.